Hello everybody, Seamless Kaboom is back for the final episode, not of the Insane Trilogy, but of at least the second part of the Insane Trilogy. At least that's how this one should go. Um, as long as I could get the gem and the crystal in this one and beat Cortex. And, you know, thinking of Cortex now, I'm thinking about it, I just did a very smart move by leaving these two as the last couple levels to do because it gives me practice with the freaking jetpack. Holy crap, I subconsciously just made my life easier. Except when I do stupid shit like that. Okay. <laughs> I made my life easier as I die instantly. Okay. Great. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm not missing anything right here, right? No, okay. Just wanted to make sure before I went too far. I gotta come over here and get this one. And then back to the right. Okay. Inversion's kind of working. I hope it works good for Cortex. Because it seems to work okay here. Like, I seem to have a decent amount of control, even though I am going slow. And I said that in the last one, but I am reiterating it. Because it is true. I probably would be terrible. I probably would be even slower with the other one. Oh, dear! I almost went right in... Okay, I went into a hot pipe, but I almost got hit by the laser. At least I'm right here. <gasps> the laser! <laughs> it swooped its laser! And I went right into it. Okay. Alright. No. Not Bernie Pipe. Okay. Get. Get! That's right. You scream into the void. What the shit? Okay. Okay. Alright. Laser beams. Laser beams and hot things. Okay. Not dealing with this proper. Alright. Get the box. Avoid. I... Oh. <laughs> Why? Great, thank you. Thank you for telling me how terrible of a bandicoot player I am. Alright. Get. I don't need to make this longer than absolutely freaking necessary, guys. Okay. I had to hold my breath on that. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a checkpoint. Good. Give me. Give me that checkpoint. Give me that. Oh, that's a buddy. That's a buddy. So I can have gold buddy. Yeah. I am losing my inverted controls. Okay. There we go. Oh Shit, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> That's probably the most acceptable I'll ever be. Just because I'm so close to the end. Wait for it. Now. Get that one up at the top. This one down below. And checkpoint. Yeah. Cool. That was nice and smooth. Good job, Crash. You'll get a cookie. Whenever you'll get that cookie, I do not know. But sometime in your future, there's a cookie with your name on it. You can get two cookies. If you get us through this in a timely fashion. Um, okay. That's the crystal. Okay. 
That was almost a death. Go. Because that's the end. Bam. Is that it? That's it? Yes! Yes! Ha ha ha! Oh, that took a little longer than I anticipated and wanted. But you know what? That's fine. It's perfectly fine. Because now it is the time. It is the time to end this sec- Laser Powered Vengeance! Trophy! Yeah! Doodle dance! Woo! He's gonna say something. <laughs> yes! My plan is nearly complete. You know the cartoonish animations that they have for some of the over-exaggeration works really well, not just because of the whole Looney Tune thing inspiration that Crash originally had, like I said in previously, but with like, cra uh, not Crash, um, with Cortex and Brio being mad like they are, it fits. I think it fits. Everything! Oh, yes. Well, yes, hi. Uh, we're back now. Yeah, we're back, On hi. The, uh, interruption. Crash, bring me crystals! Me, 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 me. Mop the floor, Bandicoot. Scrub the floors, Bandicoot. It doesn't work because Bandicoot doesn't have the same amount of syllables as Cinderella. Alright. All right, bro. Let's do this. All right. I'm coming for you, bro. Okay. That's once. I gotta get him again. Okay. There's mines. Gotta avoid mines. Oh no. That did not work. Okay, that's number two. Alright, gotta get a third one. This is weird because everything kind of spins. Yeah. Like like even the freaking obstacles kind of spin and that's a little disorientating. Ah! Ha ha. Okay. Get him. Get him. Damn it. I'm going to have to do it again. All right. It, and, it, and the death perception on it, awful. Okay, there's one. Freaking. See, the stuff moves and that's, that throws everything off. Throws off my whole groove. There's the second one, okay. The fact that he hits that and it throws me off, that's kind of baloney. There we go. Yeah, what? What? That power ups in this one? That's how you do the time relics in this one. That makes so much more sense. Clever girls. Or, and gentlemen. Clever peoples. Crash, what do you suppose happened to Cortex? And what about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. Um, your brother's being stolen. Maybe you should pay attention to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Laugh all you want. Because guess what? 
We're going to take care of you. Are you going to play end credits? Oh, you are. Can I skip? Okay, I can skip. We're not doing end credits. End credits are at the end of the trilogy. All right. Yes, Brio, talk to me, bro. Let's finish this right now. Yes. Incredible. Yes. <laughs> the crystals are not the only means of harnessing planetary energy. I'm sure. <laughs> the gems have that ability as well. Yes. And with them, I can destroy the cortex vortex forever. Then let's do it. <laughs> Stop talking. Let me warp you to my completed laser installation. <laughs> why, why do you seem so pleased with yourself on that one? Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's end Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Let's do this. Yes, look at all them gems. We are ready, Crash. You know, it truly is amazing how Brio is just like, yeah, I'm like a freelance villain, you know? I worked with Cortex, we had our tiff, I hate you, but you know, I kind of don't hate you. It's weird. It's really weird. Oh, and you're just going to spit me out like that? Okay. All right. That's it for Crash Bandicoot 2. So in the next episode of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, we're moving on into the third and final section of this trilogy, Crash Bandicoot Warp. Bye. 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 Bye.